Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back from a long vacation. Sorry, I had to take a little break, shave my mustache, got a little fresh cut, I guess you could say that, and just been enjoying a lot of stuff, doing a bunch of stuff besides music, such as videos. But I am back to embrace some more videos. I hope you guys have been doing great. I know I've been doing good, I just needed a little break. But here we are back, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to use effect scenes or effect alters or buses, whatever you want to call them. It don't really matter. I'll basically the same thing. I'm going to show you what's the importance of using them and how to set them up inside of FL Studio so you guys can use it. Because I really think they're a big part of how my workflow. And I think you guys should be starting to use effects, scene, buses, auxes, whatever. And also, I got it from a user request as well. They asked me what's the difference between them, so I'm answering that question. So, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud, hit me up and leave me a question in my uh, DMs or my post or whatever, and I'll try to get to them as I can. Especially if they're a good question, I'll definitely get to it. So here we are inside of FL Studio, FL Gang! I know your boy got happy just now, but <laughs> here we are back inside FL Studio, so hopefully this will be good for you. But I will show you, if you wanna see how to do a Studio One, I can show you, but inside Studio One, it is super, super simple and easy inside Studio One, so. I don't even want to teach you really, but I can if you guys want to. Now, first off, what is an effect scene or an effect bus? Basically, it is taking a channel. So you got your main channel where your vocals are. You're taking it and sending it to another bus that has like an effect such as reverb, delay, compression, EQ, whatever you want on it. And you're sending it to that bus and you're blending that sound, that process sound back into with the original sound. So basically, you get a better control of your uh, effects such as reverb and delay. And you can also do some cool things like EQ, the reverb, EQ, delay, or distort the reverb delay or phase it or do some crazy creative stuff with effect buzz. That's why I like using them. And also, if you want to have multiple channels being processed by the exact same effect, such as reverb, you can also send to that one bus and you can determine how much or how little of that effect will be processing those individual sounds and just get a more cohesive and more professional sound. So let's jump right to it and show you guys how to do it. Here we are at FL Studio. I got a little quick little, you know, sexy vocal chorus for you guys. This is what it sounds like. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use effect scenes inside of FL Studio and what's the importance of using them and how they can help you in your music production. Let's go. Mm, don't I just sound so sexy? Leave a comment if you think though. So. Thumb it up if you think if you think yeah, sound good. And I should put a poll in there. But yeah, anyway, back to the video. So uh, the one thing about FL Studio that makes it a little tricky about effect bus effect scenes that each channel or every channel is basically an effect scene insert aux bus every channel can be both regular and effects of effects bus so usually when you start fs studio there will be this right here if you got the template you right here you go to new templates and you go to empty with four scenes you have that but say you just got straight empty the best way to do it like I say you can make any of these buses into effect bus and the way to do that is to just click a channel so let's say i want this channel right here to be the reverse i'm gonna rename it so you guys can see so reverb hope i spelled it right and then we're gonna just give it a color we'll give it you know blue to stand out and yeah boom bam so now i want this to be my reverb so what i'll do is i'll go to this channel and i'll just throw on a reverb we'll just throw on reverb two because it's easy to you know reverb two it's reverb two one of the best reverbs out there so how can i turn this into an effects bus so if i play it right now you won't hear it being processed yo what's up everybody it's your boy slim aka mr different and today i'm gonna now I could add it to the channel, but we don't want to do that. We want to use it as an effects bus. So if you click on the channel that you want to send to this effect, you click on the first channel. So just for my vocals there on channel one, I go to the reverb channel. Don't click on it. Just click this arrow down here. And now you have it turned into an effect scene. So now I can t determine how much of the reverb effect I want by the little circle at the bottom. So this is with it off. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different. Now I'm going to start turning in some reverb into it. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use effect scenes inside of FL Studio, and what's the, easy as that, and you're pretty much done. Now, like I said, the good thing about it is now you can blend in how much of that effect you want, so I can go like full blown, straight up. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your, or I can have just a little bit of reverb. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, which is pretty cool, which I do like that. Now, the good thing about effects bus is now, if I want to, I can add like a EQ to it. So we'll just do like a fruity EQ2. And I can cut all the lows of the reverb. So I cut all the lows of the reverb now. So I'm just left with that top end reverb, that, that top end of the reverb. 
Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use effect scenes inside of FL Studio and what's the importance of using them and how to see it's not affecting my original dry track, it's just affecting the reverb or the effect. And like I said, you can get crazy with it. You can add something like, you know, I can add like a fruity chorus. So let's see, where's fruity chorus at? All these goddamn effects. Where is it? Fruity chorus. So I can add fruity chorus and now I can chorus my reverb. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use effect scenes inside of FL Studio and what's, and I can blend it back. So, see, that's the, that's, that's the power and the magic of using effects, aux, effects, bus, or returns. It just gives you a crazy amount of customization, flexibility, and creativity on top of it. I mean, come on, we all trying to be different from everybody else. If I'm Mr. Different, of course, you know, that's why my name is that. Besides the point, but it just helps you guys be a lot more creative and different. Different, and it helps you know experiment well. And like I said, I can record more vocals and send all those same vocals to the exact same track. So remember, if you want to turn to a, a bus into a effect scene, just go to an empty channel. We'll click your original channel and then just connect it by clicking the little triangle at the bottom, and that will turn it into an effect scene. Easy as that. So yeah, hope you guys learned something. If you want to see me do this in Star Studio One, which is it is amazingly stupidly easy in Studio One, I will still make a video if you guys request it. Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, thumb it up. Leave a comment what you want to see next. I need to know what you guys want because it's 2019. What do you guys want to see? Mixing, recording, effects, beats, this, that, uh, uh, uh. Let me go ahead and know so I know what to make for you guys. But with that being said, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different. Not motivated by the money. But like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumb the video if you like it. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.